This is the practice test for the integrated math 2, 10 ready, TCAP, whatever test. Question number five. We're in subpart one, so that means no calculator. Now, uh, I wrote similarity here, and you'll see why in just a minute. It wants to it, The question asks, determine which statement is true in regard to ABC and LMN. So this is one where you really should use the answer choices as a starting point for your thoughts. Now both, uh, or should I say all four of them, list similarity as a component, so that's what I'm looking for. And that's why this is written here. Similarity has two parts, corresponding angles are congruent, so that means there should be some match, and the second is that corresponding sides are proportional. So I should be able to make a proportion with them. Now, I'm going to check to see if it meets any of that criteria and then determine the way that I could say that's true or not. So the first thing I need to do is say, okay, well this is uh, the sum of all the angles is 180. Uh, so ABC added up the sum of angle ABC equals 180 and it lists 90 degrees as one of the angles. So that would mean that C and N are in some way related, or in terms of them being corresponding. This corresponds to this. There's your connection. Now, what's this angle? I can figure that out just by using the fact that A plus B plus C, and I'm going to be super lazy and not write measurement of angle, but you should, I mean in appropriate terms. So it should be something like this. So pretend that's there and there, equals 180. I have a value of 90 degrees here, B's value is 42, the pin's being weird today. It has been since I changed the nib, I guess I should go back, but whatever. Combining like terms, I end up with 132. plus A equals 180 and to solve I need to take minus 132 on both sides eight and seven minus three is four so 48 is the value of A, measurement of angle A. That's very convenient for me to know, I'm gonna erase this now because that means I have a corresponding relationship these are corresponding, these are corresponding. And then this one, because of the fact that 48 plus 90 plus 42 equals 180, since they're both triangles, this is also 42. So there's my other connection. Now, I have all the angles. I'm good to go there as far as that's concerned. So really, based on that information, I can say that they uh, may or may not be similar. But I don't know if I can confirm that they're similar or not. So I need to determine if corresponding sides are proportional. So in this, CB and NM check to see if they provide any proportional, proportionality information. The problem is, even when you find it, who knows? I don't know because I don't know enough about LN and AC, I don't know enough about LM and AB. But what I do know is that I have all three angles being congruent. For a similarity case, this is one of the components, but I am allowed to assume that they are similar if I can prove that at least two of the angles are the same, because angle, angle, it provides me a way to prove that they're similar because the other one will be locked in. So if I have one the same, two the same, the third one has to be locked into that amount because they're both triangles. Adding up to 180 will give you the same thing. That's how I was able to find 42 so easily in LMN here. Now with that being said, what does that mean? It means that no matter what I do, I've locked in those angle values and so the proportion will be the same. Like if I know that this is 5, for instance, I can say this is 10 because it's 1 to 2. But the reality is I can't use side angle side criterion to prove similarity because I don't have enough information to do that. 
I would need two sides. That's out. I don't know side, side, side criterion. Nope. But ABC and LMN are not similar. They are similar because I've locked in the angle um, measures. And when I lock in the angle measures, if I change one of the links, the other ones have to change proportionally. That's just the nature of how angles work. So if I have this angle here and I decide, okay, I'm going to increase this in order for this to, like originally it closed, say right here, like that. So originally I had it closed. If I want to extend that, I have to extend this one as well, and that extends this one in order to make it close. That's the only way that it will work in order to have the angles be the same. If this is the same as this, this is the same as this, and of course they share this one, so I don't really have to mark it. But in order to maintain that angle relationship, I do have to automatically assume that I'm going to change things in a proportional fashion. So the answer to number five is A. So really here, you can get it very quickly just by looking to see, okay, do I have my, is there enough there to say they're similar? Probably, uh, but side angle side, not likely to happen because they didn't give me enough sides. Side, 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 there's no way in the world, but the angles can get me there. As long as I realize that just using the angles that I'm given won't give me enough information. I do have to do a little bit of thought into, okay, well, the sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. And write my numbers in. It's really easy to see then.